to welcome them to the stage. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Alam kong iba ang hinihintay nyo magsalita ngayong gabi dito. Pero siguro alam po nyo na inaresto ngayong hapon si Maria Reza sa Raptor. Ako po si Patricia Evangelista. Reporter po ako ng Rappler. Scholar ng Bayan. At graduate po ng Cal. Gusto ko lang po umupo tumayo dito. At sabihin sa inyo kung anong naganap ngayong araw sa Rappler at basahin yung statement nila na pinalabas namin ngayong hapon. Rappler CEO and Executive Editor Maria Reza was served an arrest warrant this afternoon, February 13, at the Rappler headquarters in connection with an alleged violation of the Philippine Cybercrime Law. At least four agents and lawyers from the National Bureau of Investigation Cybercrime Division came to serve the warrant signed by Manila Regional Trial Court Presiding Judge Reynelda H. Estacio Mentosa. The warrant, dated February 12, 2019, was served close to 5 p.m. when courts were about to close. A complaint was filed by businessman Wilfredo Keng five years after a story was published on May 29, 2012, or months before the cybercrime law was enacted. Our story said former Chief Justice Renato Corona used a vehicle registered under the name of Mr. Sure. Keng, who based on intelligent reports and previously published stories had alleged links to illegal drugs and human trafficking. We called Mr. Kang and got his side before the story was published. The filing of the case is preposterous and baseless. No less than NBI Cybercrime Division Chief Manuel Eduardo closed an investigation in February 2018 after file, finding no basis to proceed, given that one year of the prescriptive period had already lapsed. Eight days later, the NBI revived the case and filed it with the Department of Justice on the basis of a theory they call continuous publication. This is a dangerous precedent that puts anyone, not just the media, who publishes anything online perennially in danger of being charged with libel. Maria Ressa was accused of cyber libel allegedly because she was the editor of the story that was published. She was not. If this is another of several attempts to intimidate us, it will not succeed as past attempts have shown. Maria Ressa and Rappler will con continue to do our jobs as journalists. We will continue to tell the truth and report what we see and hear. We are first and foremost journalists. We are truth tellers. As Maria said tonight, we are not intimidated. No amount of legal cases, black propaganda and lies can silence Filipino journalists who continue to hold the line. These legal acrobatics show how far the government will go to silence journalists, including the pettiness of forcing me to spend the night in jail. Si Maria po ay nasa NBI ngayon. Kasama po ang Rappler sa mahabang tradisyon, kasama ng mga kapatid namin sa media, sa malayang pamamahayag dito sa Pilipinas. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagsuporta. At ngayong gabi at sa susunod na mga araw, patuloy ang pagbabalita ng Rappler. Maraming salamat po. Kalayaan sa pamamahayag!